<laughs> Guess what? Today we've got no baby. We've got no husband. What? We are alone. You hear that? Exactly. Silence. Just like I like it. <laughs> Anyways, no. But Brielle is at her grandma's house today. She's spending the weekend with them. I love you. My mother-in-law. Thank you, baby Jesus. I need a break. Um, and hubby is at work today. Um, it is what it is, right? But on today's episode of Follow Mommy Around, <laughs> we're gonna go to Sephora because I'm out of my like four major products that I always use. Um, concealer, translucent powder, uh, what else? Mm -mm -mm. Um, setting spray, and primer. And I want to do a YouTube made me buy it because, because you know, how many of us like spend countless hours on YouTube watching all of the new videos that come out about every new makeup product, every new line, every, you know, eyebrow thing, mascara, whatever. Uh, and I tend to use the same products. Like I've used the same concealer to clean my brows for 10 years, like no joke, 10 years, since my sister was working at Lancome, like that's how long it's been. Um, so I thought I'd try something, ooh, it's not focusing. Okay, so I thought I'd try something new and, you know, just get with the times because, yeah, I just feel like a lot of my stuff is old and crusty and dusty and mm, it's not popping no more. And I wanna be popping, okay? I wanna be that popping mom. <laughs> Anyways. Swiffer. I keep getting shots of me Swiffer. Um, anyway, so I'm waiting for my best friend Shay to come and we are going to go get get some coffee and then head to Sephora. And honestly, I'm not the kind of person who buys multiple makeup products at once. So this is going to be pricey and I don't know how I feel about that yet. But yeah, so I'll see you soon. We got our Phil's coffee. Say hi. <laughs> that's, that's my bestie. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the mall right now. We got it, we both got um, the ginger, was it iced ginger snaps? I just put Shay on it. She likes it. So yeah, okay, bye. a lot of money <laughs> I feel like well I spent a lot of money I feel it's so bright out here I know it's a pretty day it is she even got something too she got a face mask and some stuff from Morphe <laughs> and then I got all of my stuff I having really bad buyers remorse so, <laughs> I, I bought the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder I got it in Blondie because I am a huge fan of the Ben Nye luxury powder I've used this for like six years now i'm addicted to that but i thought i needed to try something else and the banana color i think was like too light for me it is the Versali skin tune blur oh i'm so juiced my skin's pretty dry so i wanted something that fills in pores but also um is pretty hydrating i got the creaseless concealer i used i tried this back in the day before it was like huge when it was still not like squeezed to your packaging but I don't know, I guess I just didn't know how to work with it last time and my skin at, during that time before Ellie was uh, pretty dry and now, or I'm sorry, it was really oily and now my skin's super dry. And then I got, oh crap, oh, and then I got the Morphe Continuous Setting, setting Mist. Um, Kathleen Lights always uses this and that's what made me really want to get it. So yeah, here we go. This is my first time trying it. It comes, so this, well this product was like $54 and um, has one fluid ounce in it and it looks like milky my fingers because i don't know i have a viewfinder and that's what i'm using as my mirror um hmm smells good it's 
Smells really nice. Shay, you want to come smell this? <laughs> it smells really good. It's nice. It's fresh. It's not like overpowering. I'm pretty sensitive to scent, so it's like I'm a little bit worried about trying that easy bake powder. What do you think? It smells good. It smells good. Yeah. It's nice, huh? Yeah. It definitely. I, I mean, I do feel like it's filled in my pores a little bit. Oh, I've got like these little. Ooh, sorry, big old mirror. I've got these little bumps on my nose. I think it's just from like blowing my nose too much because it's so dry outside. Um. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my foundation on. Um. I use the Nars Sheer Glow. It's like my favorite. I've used it for a long time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that on real quick. I usually always go in between this and then that new um, NYX, what is it called? Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. That's been like my, like, I think what I would call my holy girl um, drugstore foundation. But the problem that I have with that is it's pretty dry and, or not, yeah, it's pretty matte. And so now that it's winter, I'm needing some more hydration. So Nourish Your Glow is definitely a winter foundation for me. Then I don't know, maybe I'll go back to it in the summer. And then I'm just gonna use my um, eco sponge. Okay, so, um, let's see. So far, so good. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Foundation color is um, Stromboli, and then I got light med medium neutral. I think it might be too light. I'm kind of scared. Probably looking a little bit crazy. To kind of contour my big old schnoz, my little islander nose. What was I saying? Yeah, I don't really bake like that on a daily unless like I'm wearing like glasses. Like, you know, sometimes I make up breaks up with my glasses, like sunglasses. I know like in the summertime, if I'm gonna wear my sunglasses throughout the day, I'll bake around my nose. Cause I always get those like two little lines there that I don't like. In the shade Blondie, I tried the banana bread, but I, I think it, it felt like it was too light for me and she agreed. When I tried it like a little bit in the store, um, she said she liked the Blondie better, so we'll see. Oh, how cute. Oh, how cute is this packaging? Freshly baked and it says, um, baking made easy and it has like instructions, kind of like a cook, like the, like your, your baking box or whatever. Let me just throw that over there. So this is what it looks like. Um, real pretty. It's if anybody's like curious as far as like shade references, I'm a MAC NC40. NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. I think it's called Natural Beige is the color that I'm in. So yeah. Okay, my only thing that I'm concerned about is that it smells. It's like really perfumey and I don't really do well with fragrance. Um, I'm just going to compare this to my Benai banana powder that I already have. Oh, not really, actually. It's really close, so maybe I did a good job then. Uh, well, dang. Okay, so I feel like this is what it looks like right now. So this is Blondie and this is Benai. I feel like Blondie is way more yellow. And I don't know how to explain it. I feel like Blondie is a little bit, like, yellow and... But nice, a little bit more brightening, if that makes any sense. I know. Hopefully, you guys can tell me too much. Well, I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried it's not gonna look good. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. I don't know if I'm gonna bake with it. Maybe not, but I'm just gonna pack it on. Well, that's a lot. Mmm. I really feel like it's kind of dark. I'm so. It's not bad. Um, I don't feel like I can use it. Ooh. I don't feel like I can use it for like highlighting, if that makes sense. Let me just. But it's not bad. It the smell is not like a big deal to me, honest at all. And usually I'm pretty sensitive. Like the Cody Airspun, I couldn't even use that because it made my like my cheeks burn. So let me see. I love this bronzer. I discovered it um, last summer, like right before my wedding, and ever since then I've been like addicted to it. I use it every day, I even use it like as an eyeshadow. I wish I did this earlier in the day while the sun was still out because I feel like good lighting is hard for me in here. 
I don't have like bigger lights so but we'll just have to work with it and eventually I think I'll have like a better backdrop but this isn't really a makeup channel because mm, I don't really want it to be like that but I got excited about the makeup for those of you who actually know I used to have a YouTube channel where I posted makeup stuff I think as I got older and as um you know I had my daughter that kind of changed because I'm not a glam person anymore. I used to like full face and makeup all the time and that's totally again changed since I've become a mom. And too, like my line of work is not makeup. You know what I mean? Before back then I had worked I actually started one of my first jobs was in cosmetics. My sister used to manage um, she worked at Lancome and she used to manage Shiseido um, back in Stockton and she did that for a few years and so that's kind of where I got started with makeup is I would go with her to visit her at work or I'd go to work and she would have like, I think till this day, she still has tons. It's so funny because she has, barely even wears it anymore. But she had tons and tons and tons and tons of makeup. So, um, so far so good. I am going to go ahead and do my brows real quick and, okay, so I'm back. I put my eyebrows on. Um, eyebrows are always so like time consuming and everybody like has their own preference. Um, so that's why I did it off camera. And I don't know, what do you, I try to keep my eyebrows as like natural looking as possible, but I feel like I got a little bit too carried away and it's kind of dark, too dark for me. But anyways, um, if you like to see it actually, if you'd actually like to see an, a um, eyebrow tutorial or the way that I do my eyebrows, because I um, do them like the feather strokes, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually going to bake for this because, um, you know, camera's sake. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the Sultry palette. I'm going to use this. It's so pretty. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, Brian and I are actually going on a date tonight. Because like I mentioned, we don't have a baby tonight. So I think I'm going to go all out. But okay. So and like in this powder, it has this like little mesh net. And I actually love that. Since I'm not a baker I should say because I'm not someone who likes to bake often I like the fact that it has that because I can't tell you how many times like I've spilled and then when I use my Benai powder I have to pour it out onto a napkin before I use it so that's pretty cool I like that because now I feel like it's like cleaner for me so okay I'm gonna bake like how I used to or like when so I usually cut down here Ooh, it's, and it's all over my shirt. Ew. And then I'm going to go with my chin because I feel like mine always comes off. And then I'm going to bake under the eyes. And I'm going to use it because it's a different combination for us. I use this. I'll bake under the eyes so it catches all of the fall. Oh. And then I like to cut the nose. So when I contour, that looks a little bit better. This is slowly becoming a tutorial. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyeshadow already. I just didn't record it for time's sake because this isn't really a tutorial. So, um, I've been baking for a few minutes, probably longer than I should. Uh, it is so yellow. The scent isn't really the problem that I'm having. I think for what I'm feeling right now, it's just so yellow. Like, even more so than my Ben Night. And I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of feel like I need to go back and get the... Um, I've been talking in the viewfinder. I feel like I need to go back and get the banana bread one, but I don't know. Shay said it looks it doesn't look bad, so I'm just going to buff all this off. I'm just using my It Cosmetics um, brush. My mother-in-law bought this for me. Thanks, Mama. You're the real VP. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to wipe it all off. I used the powder to kind of act as like a... um. What is it? To catch on my fallout. That's like what I normally would if I was doing like lamb makeup on myself. So I'm just kind of buffing in my nose a little bit more. Um, let, let, let me see real quick. Ooh, I'm looking dry. Like, <laughs> like... The hair. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna have to spray this down. Let me just add some lipstick. What do you think? 
Okay, I haven't I sprayed it yet. Different though. You can. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I'm just gonna spray this real quick with yeah. the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray because I do feel kind of dry. You don't? Do I look dry? No. She says I don't look dry, but you can try to spray it. Oof. set in for a little bit um probably change my shirt and then yeah okay i'm hecka red because it's hot af from all these lights in my bathroom i'm hecka hot okay anyways um first thing that i notice is i am smooth that's like the first thing that shayana told me too is like your face looks hecka smooth and i will definitely say it does. Like, it's so finely milled that, like, I just look hecka smooth. Would it, don't you think so? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I feel like my skin looks really nice. Like, mm -hmm. really nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm very impressed. Because I've been using the Ben Nye Banana Powder for years. Like, five or six years now. From, the, from once I moved to Sacramento, I started using that powder. And I have not switched. I just kept repurchasing it. Um... Wow. The only thing I don't like is that there is a scent. It's not like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like so, like too bad, but like, I guess it just depends on your skin. I think if this was like the foundation, I probably couldn't wear it because, you know, that's, this is something that's going on top of something. So it's not as bad for me, but if I think if I was just using like the foundation, like I haven't tried her liquid foundation, which I really want to, but I think if I was to use the liquid foundation and that powder I wouldn't be able to take it because my skin gets really sensitive especially like in the cheek area but I don't know what do you guys think because I feel like I look so smooth and I really like this setting mist because it's just like it's nice <laughs> and you don't get like because I usually use MAC fix plus and you know like when you squirt it it like it doesn't spread out evenly I feel like this is just so nice it's, it's like nice and the concealer I really like the concealer I'm like looking at my mirror back there the concealer looks super good like it just is good as shape um bleh. shape tape um shape tape's just a little bit too dry for me now I think I like it when I wear my glasses because I don't want anything to move but I love I'm really liking this concealer too so anyways I will check in later tonight it's like not even six o'clock yet and Brian and I are supposed to go to the movies later on so you know we'll try it out but I will say my biggest I guess my biggest like wear test would be to the office because if I do my makeup at like six or seven o'clock in the morning and then I don't get home until after like seven seven thirty sometimes that's the real test the office through all that stress date nights whatever but the office is like a big one so yeah we'll check in later okay it is pretty late it's 12.30, oops, we can't even see it, but it's 12.39, mm. this lighting is not great, we just got home from watching Aquaman, it was so good, this lighting isn't very great, but I don't know, what do you think, my makeup, not the camera, looks good. The my husband said it looks good, I think it looks really good, at, okay, so at first I was so worried that it was too yellow, but now that like throughout the day and the more that I look at it, it's not too yellow. I think it's perfect. Um, the fragrance too, I was really tripping about the fragrance. It's not bad at all. It actually goes away. It dissipates within like, once it's like set on your face, it goes away immediately. So yeah, all in all, I'm excited. I'm going to keep using it. I think I found a new favorite. It makes my skin look so smooth. So I'm super happy, but yeah, it's really late. It's 1240. So thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more um, from me and my little family, please um, like, comment, and subscribe. Ask me out. I turned. I need twenty fans for a fucking anklet. <laughs>